But when it comes to the trade that brought Cabrera to Detroit, well, there was only one clear winner in that situation. Of course, it happened on December 4th, 2007. The Tigers gave up two of their top prospects at the time, Cameron Maben and Andrew Miller, plus four more. The Tigers in return got Dontrell Willis and, of course, a future Hall of Famer in Cabrera. In South Florida, they consider it the worst trade in franchise history. Meanwhile, it's worked out pretty darn well for the Tigers. And how it all went down is a fascinating piece of baseball history. The reason why, at the end, the Marlins decided that we had to trade Miguel Cabrera is that I had told our owner that we would have a new stadium that would open in 2006. It became very clear that I had missed my deadline and we had no chance of a new stadium anytime soon. And Miguel Cabrera was going to be a free agent and we were not going to have the money to sign him to the contract that he was going to get in the open market. And the Detroit Tigers were a match made in heaven for the type of trade that we were looking for. Dave Dombrowski is a very interesting president of baseball operations. He knows exactly what he wants. And the negotiations with Detroit were actually quite simple. The most important part of the trade for Miguel Cabrera is that we wanted to get both Cameron Maben and Andrew Miller, who were two of the top five prospects at the time in Major League Baseball. And Dave didn't screw around. Let's not let them get anybody else involved in the bidding here for Cabrera. We felt if we ended up accepting the deal, then they would make it. So we did. We ended up uh, accepting the deal at that point, but it took about 24 hours to finally get the uh, medicals approved. And during that time period, we never left our room. I mean, we just basically we said, nobody's leaving the room. They went to sleep. Don't wander the lobby. Don't talk to other people. We don't want any of this to fall apart by any means. So all our guys did it. They came back. We hung around. And then finally, when we got the clearance, we jumped up and down and high-fived everybody, and, um, including Jim Leland at that point. So we were all absolutely thrilled. We was in the middle of the fight to give Miguel Carrera. I, I, like, I just called my wife and said, we, we're ready to give Miguel. We're ready to give Miguel. We're going to make a trade. We're gonna... I, was, I was drinking with Bruce Bochy and Joe Madden. And I said, Miguel Carrera got a trade. I said, yes, we got him. Detroit Tigers. Where did it come from? I really do remember playing Xbox Live, and all of a sudden I'm playing with one of my, one of my boys, and he's like, did you just see that? And I'm like, what? He's like, Bro, it just said Cameron Maven got traded to the Marlins, and I'm like, no way. I was in Mexico in Cabo, and I saw my face on a, 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 I couldn't even understand what they were saying, but I saw me and his face, and next thing you know, he called me from actually our friend Hugo's Barbershop and said, Willie, we gone, we're going to Detroit. I said, I'm not going anywhere because I'm in Cabo right now. It's literally day one in Cabo. I'm going to sip my margaritas, but I mean, when you play for the Marlins, you're always up to <laughs> the trade block, especially back then. <laughs> you don't just drop a margarita when you're on the beach in Cabo. You take your time and eventually make your way to Detroit. That, that, um, the excitement around that was amazing. It was, it was an extremely fun time, of course, uh, in Detroit and for Tigers baseball. 